What is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review or preview we're going to take a look at uh, Taskmaster from the movie Black Widow and you can still pre-order this at bigbadtoystore.com I'll put the link down below man another release man, Hot Toys has been on fire lately I think I, I can't keep up last night I think they made some few announcements two of them were from Star Wars Clone Wars with vehicles and stuff which is it looks pretty awesome but you know I'm not gonna do a video for that because I don't want to watch Clone Wars you know just but it, it looks pretty awesome but I have seen Black Widow and it wasn't the best movie it wasn't the worst um I enjoyed it you know for what it is it it the character itself, although it, it, it's a, it is different from the Taskmaster that we all know, I enjoy the portrayal of the character in the movie. You know, so if we buy this for what it is, and this is Taskmaster from Black Widow. With that being said, you know, it, this figure interests me at first. I saw the prototype, you know, initially, and I thought it was the the in the design was really interesting. It, it kind of reminded me of the game Crisis, and I like that game. Plus, this is it doesn't have any head sculpt, so it looks badass, right? Like without knowing what the backstory of the character is on the movie, uh, you just one glance at it, and it looks pretty awesome. It looks like a you know a pseudo stormtrooper, you know, non helmeted, I mean non head sculpt version, which could move fairly well if i'm being honest here it looks like his his outfit is all fabric even his shoulder pads are attached to the fabric material itself so he can move freely from what i can tell uh even the armored pieces again it looks either attached by velcro or just glued on to the fabric itself it just feels like you know you are gonna get a good level of articulation here as far as um, accessories, it comes with decent amount. You got you get a sword, uh, shield, bow and arrow, and you know assortment of hands like always. The only thing that you would not get is the unmasked head sculpt, which understandably because you know she didn't took it off till later in the movie. So why you know for the mo my, like ninety five percent of the movie or ninety percent of the movie she does have a mask on. Uh, you also can interchange it with a hood, so that's pretty awesome. With that being said, would I still does this still interest me? Yes. Um, am I gonna get it? Probably not away, because I have a feeling this is one of those cases where this is not a primary concern for me, or I would say most collectors that you can easily pass on this especially now that the hype is gone and there's no signs that we're going to see this character again. I mean, at least in the immediate future, right? She might appear somewhere else, but if that happens, I'm sure she'll have like a different outfit or costume at that point. Um, is Black Widow an iconic movie that you need to get this? No, not necessarily, but this falls into the main. That is cool. I, I kind of want that category. Not that, you know, like, Oh man, I need to have that. Unless, of course, you're a huge fan of the movie or the character. Because, but the thing is, even if you are a huge fan of Taskmaster, like the uh, traditional ones, I'm not sure if this is something that they would want because this is kind of different from the Taskmaster. Though, even from the game, even from the video game, the uh, the Spider Man, you know, it it he looks different. You know, I mean, she looks different and all that stuff. All the all the thing that's going on for this is the appeal because she looks badass now if you wait a little bit i have a feeling that this is one of those figures where it's gonna sit uh and you might get this for like free shipping or with 10 15 percent off and all that stuff if you notice nowadays it's very rare that a hot toy sells out very rare so you know, figures like this, who, if you are just kind of, kind of like, and if you can afford to sit on it and, and wait, that's what I would suggest. This is not, I, this is not one of those things where I would highly recommend picking it up now. I mean, you can say it for a lot of figures, you know, like majority of the figures nowadays, 
But there are some where if you really like the character, you kind of be like, oh, man, I want to, I want to get it now. Or there's a risk, even though the risk is very minimal nowadays. You'll be like, oh, there's a risk that this would sell out. I mean, I can't say that. I mean, I we thought Penny, I thought Pennywise is gonna be that, but long and behold, he's still available. You know, I thought there's gonna be not a whole lot of pre-orders for Pennywise. Uh, Hellboy is another one. You know, those are one-offs. What more so for these guys who are not quote unquote one-offs? But they could be because they're not a main character, unlike Black Widow, which we have uh, like four or five versions of. Um, we might not see this again, but would anyone really care? You know, I don't know. This is this is a, a tough call right here. I would still probably end up picking her down the line, not anytime soon. Um any deal that could be had, sure. But nowadays, you know, I'm preparing for the Mark V drop or the Miles Morales one. And then after that, I got Rick Grimes from 3-0. She has to go to the back burner. You know, like as much as I find this this outfit really cool and, you know, the overall look really cool and, and badass, she might have to wait a little bit longer, you know. and 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 if I do... This is one of those cases where if she goes on sale, even better. If it doesn't and it sells out, I'll be fine. You know, like if it if all of a sudden back in, if we're at November and this is out of stock, I'll be like, all right, never had her, you know, so cool. Move on to the next figure. But yeah, let me know in the comment section how you feel about this. You know, I, make no mistake. I like how it turned out. I think it's a beautiful figure still. Uh, but with the abundance of figure that we are getting. And not only that, on pre-orders, something has to give. And I feel like, unfortunately for Taskmaster, at least for me, I can only speak for myself. Uh, yeah, she's she's one of those casualties where you get pushed back. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this character, on this release. And your thought process, I guess, for secondary characters like this. I don't even know if this is considered a B character. This might be a C yeah, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. And my second channel, the Bull, um, Bull Central. Not Bull Central, I'm sorry. Bulls Nation. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.